See, the, the chorus is catchy, man, with the say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, say it out Okay, so I'm gonna be trying something completely new today on the channel. I will be reacting to the top 10 trending songs on YouTube in the Philippines, which means that this video is going to be very long for me, okay, for me, let me explain. I will be reacting to 10 videos and most of them are between two and four minutes so this is gonna be a long reaction for me but for you guys it won't be as long because i will be sharing snippets and that's it because i know that if i share uh the entire video my video is gonna get blocked because of copyright so i will just share snippets here and there of songs and i'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it still because i haven't been uh keeping up with what's trending you know and i want to get back to that and i stopped uh keeping up with what's trending because of copyrights because my videos were were either uh blocked or demonetized you know so i'm thinking this way i'll be able to stay in touch what with what's you know trending out there you know um but yeah if you are new to the channel welcome money guy young channel i'm a sound engineer beat maker and content creator on youtube and i'm not in control of obviously what's trending on youtube i'm just gonna open the youtube music trending page in the philippines and i'm gonna watch the top 10 you know first videos it could be filipino music it could be uh, music from the US, it could be, I don't know, uh, Korean music, because I know Filipinos love Korean music, so we will see, right? So we're gonna start with number 10, and gonna we're, we're gonna move up to number one, okay? Uh, let's get to it. Okay, so the number 10 music video is by Hail Mary and Al James. I have reacted to Al James before. As a matter of fact, uh, that song that I reacted to is in my phone and I do listen to it from time to time. But this one is called Tequila Rose. Let's check it out. Okay, we got some booties. <laughs> we got some sexy girls. All right. Oh, Ooh, this is bringing me back to the late 2010s and beginning 2020s. Um, you know, when they used to use uh, a lot of pitch dropped voice voices, you know, like especially in the chorus, they would pitch drop the voice of the rapper or singer and I thought it was always a very efficient an efficient way to create a chorus you know I used to really enjoy that so that's what they're doing here here with trap music it's a very laid back track for now Woof, the ladies bruh fresh okay pause so this guy right here in blue is probably Hail Mary because I don't know him. And the other guy is uh, Al James. Ooh, 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 my gosh. Fly honeys. <laughs> this is like the most American Filipino music video that I have watched, I think, ever. Because... I have watched, you know, Filipino music videos that look like Amer American, you know, music videos. But usually, Filipinos do not um, have a lot of kind of like half-naked women in their music videos. Like, they show you their bling-bling, maybe the cars. But ladies, half-naked ladies, they don't do that. So, I'm surprised. Hey. Oh, oh, I like the chorus. Why are they pouring alcohol on their bodies? Is it different from pouring uh, just regular water? 
<laughs> Atari, the console? Mm, yo, the chorus is uh, very good. And the uh, American vibe that I'm getting from the song and the music video is not from the East Coast of the US, it's from the West Coast of the US, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Damn, man, the ladies are fly. The voice has been distorted. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, it was a good one, man. The vibe is very relaxed. It's very chill. I don't know, man. There's something about this song that made me feel very just mellow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could definitely listen to this song. And I think they must have had a lot of fun, um, uh, you know, shooting the, the music video for sure. All right, let's move on to the ninth trending uh, music video or song on YouTube in the Philippines. Okay, this is not a music video, but it's Like That by Baby Monster. And if I'm not mistaken, Baby Monster is a Korean pop group, I think. That's English. That's English. Are they, or maybe they are Filipino? I don't know. I don't know. That's English. You know, the guitar is reminding me uh, the song Bomb 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 by B2K. It's really reminiscent of that song. I like the flute too. I like her falsetto. Oh, no way. No way. This is like the inspiration is too obvious. Like seriously, I think the beat maker was like, okay, I love the song uh, Bomb 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 by B2K and I want to make something similar and this is it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I be thinking way too much on you to let it go. You be running through my money, I'm a lady show. There you go. They're not Filipinos, they are Korean. That was Korean, right? I'm not crazy. Because the entire beginning of the song was in English, so I wasn't sure since I don't follow K pop that much, you know? Okay, it's very mainstream. Ooh, nice. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with the music video for this song. I don't think the chorus is that catchy though. That was that was nice. How she followed the the guitar, you know, the melody of the guitar with her voice. Okay. Unfortunately, I mean, it's a fun song. It, it feels fun, you know, and happy and positive vibes and I liked the fact that they use like organic instruments meaning just like a simple guitar and a flute you know they didn't include like big heavy basses and digital sounds and leads and stuff like that no it was simple and efficient but unfortunately not very memorable in my opinion like I, I listen to it right now I think in by the end of this video I'm gonna I'm gonna forget about it, you know? I, I will have forgotten about it for sure, in my opinion. Let's move on to number seven. Wait, no, number eight, 10, nine, eight to number eight. Okay, this is not a music video. It's a song called Suave, but it's the remastered version by 4200 Southville. There you go, let's check it out. I like how they're playing with the pitch of the the bells. Okay. <laughs> now I know they, they are Filipino. He said Angaling and Sige. All right. All right. Hey. Mr. Suave, da, 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 da. I like it. It's smooth, just like the Al James uh, song. You know, these two Filipino songs are both like pretty chill. But why is it called remastered? Did they 
release a version at first that was that didn't sound clean enough or something or is it an old song that's been remastered i don't know it doesn't sound old to me like the style it's cute and sexy at the same time was that a trumpet that i heard i think i heard a trumpet at some point right yeah, I think there's a trumpet on the right side. It's a little redundant when it comes to the uh, melody or the way they are singing slash rapping, you know. It's very repetitive. But I like the vibe. You know, the way they are singing slash rapping on this is so slow, I feel like they need uh, someone like Flo G as a feature to speed it up a little, to make it more lively, because Flo G can rap really fast. Okay, the song is actually pretty good, but I think it's a little too long. You know, it's 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I think they should have stopped it after 3 minutes. You know, they didn't need to add another chorus, chorus at the end. Um, because it's just it's slow and like I said the melody is a little repetitive I mean it's probably more interesting to Filipinos who understand what they're saying but for a foreigner like me who can only really appreciate the melody the flow the the instrumental it sounded a little repetitive to me but I did enjoy uh, the mood of the song you know I think it was cute slash sexy you know if, if you're like with your girl i don't know kissing or whatever you could listen to this there you go but i don't think i would ever listen to it on my own let's move on to the next one which is i think number six now i think actually i think this is number seven and it's flow g i just mentioned flow g i had no idea that flow g would be in this uh in this uh, list you know but then again i'm not surprised because the dude is always trending and the name of the song is business talk official contact info okay interesting I like the flute, but have you noticed how the entire instrumental right now in the intro is in the center? You know, like they haven't spaced out anything. Ooh! That was nasty and I knew it was coming. I knew they did that on purpose. You know, putting the entire instrumental in the center in the intro so that the uh the transition you know is very efficient when they when they basically start spreading all the sounds you know the contrast between the intro and the rest they wanted it to be you know very apparent Woof! and i did not expect uh the drop to be like that to have like a, a repetitive kick you know boom 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 man flow g lately has been on fire Is that the contact info, the official contact info that he's talking about? And is it safe to proclaim Flo G as the biggest Filipino rap star right now, you know, in the modern time? I think it is safe to say it, right? Like, I just reacted to what, to what, like three songs? This one is my favorite so far. The music video is basic, it's like a vlog. Woo! There you go. <laughs> he just said it, rap star, and that's exactly what they are showing in the music video. It's basically a vlog of him at concerts. I mean, look at the uh, money plastered on the cupboards behind him. Like the dude is flexing. You know, he's tripping, ego tripping. Because I want to make my mom proud, that's business. Because I want to make my mom proud. At this point, I think she's extremely proud, dude. Like, could we say that Flo G right now is bigger than X Battalion? Because he's part of X Battalion, right? And X Battalion is a group 
that gathers so many popular Filipino rappers. So if we can say then that Flo G on his own is bigger than X Battalion? Hey, the Wish Music Award. Yo, that was fire. That was fire. I don't care. That was fire. I loved it. It was great. It was awesome. I'll probably add it to my playlist on my phone. That's how fire that was. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. I think this time to the sixth video. Okay, now I know this name. Ariana Grande, we can't be friends. Between parentheses, wait for your love, official music video. Okay, I'm not surprised that Ariana Grande is trending in the Philippines. She is well beloved over there. Okay, let's check it out. I will not be able to share or show you guys a lot of this music video. I'm just gonna show you like tiny snippets. Wait, 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 let me read this. You have given extensive thought behind your decision and give brighter days exclusive permission to remove this person completely from your memory. What? Yes, she's gonna check yes. Why does she have something around her eye? She's gonna put yes, come on. Otherwise the music video would be boring. Peaches. <laughs> okay, that's her name. Peaches. How could you ever even try? Mm, man, this girl can sing, man. She's got that voice. But I'd like to just Look, I am not a fan of Ariana Grande, right? But I do recognize the talent, man, and the fact that she's an amazing singer. So from time to time, yeah, you know, I stumble on her music videos and everything. And the thing that I've noticed, like the common denominator between her music videos is the color pink, man. The color pink is in all her videos. Oh, wait, is that the actor? It is. It's the dude, it's the actor that played in so many popular TV shows and also played the role of that a uh, crazy killer, right? I forgot I forgot his name. I don't know his name. But I know that he also played the role of an X-Men in an X-Men movie. You know, he was the guy that, that like runs really fast. Yeah, I, I like that actor. Mm -hmm. Baby girl, it's just me. <laughs> this is interesting, you know? Um, I haven't heard Ariana Grande make this type of music before, but then granted, I'm not her fan, so I don't listen to a lot of her music, but usually it's very, it's pop, but closer to R&B and hip hop. This is more EDM music, I would say. And also, are they together in real life or did she just hire him for her music video? They're in Canada! <laughs> With the fake snow. So basically, this is the story of a woman that wants to relive memories that she has with her, with a person that she loved and perhaps lost via some type of machine or like virtual reality or something like that. Oh, they did not kiss. <laughs> Oh, yo, her acting there was great. I actually felt her pain, you know? Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, you know what? I did not get all of it. So perhaps you guys can tell me what you understood from this uh, music video and story. But I thought it was really well done. And I think the song is catchy, to be honest. And, you know, this is going to be our future at some point. Perhaps not us, but, you know, in a, in a century or whatever, I think people will be able to relive memories and moments. Or not even memories, just live virtual lives completely, which is very scary to me, you know. I hope I'm gone by then, you know. But yeah, this was this was pretty cool. 
this was pretty cool. Let's move on to the next one, which is I think now we're at number five. Okay, I have no idea what this is. It says uh, Sweet Notes and the song is called either Celos or Shaira. I don't know. And it's a, a live performance at Ginsan. Let's check it out. I think this <laughs> is this a band that makes music for kids or something like that because most of the audience members look like uh, mothers with their babies plus the music sounds very like kids oriented with the you know like very kid uh, kid happy melody oh my god Yeah, this is definitely targeting kids because we even have like the lyrics down there with the pink color and everything. The only kid song that I know is Baby Shark, man. I don't know. So it's a, a two-man band, a woman that sings and a dude that plays the electric guitar and sings as well. Question, why is this trending? Seriously, why is this trending? I mean, I know that YouTube Kids is something not to be messed with, meaning that they get so many uh, views and everything because kids tend to watch a lot of YouTube and they replay the same content over and over and over and over again, you know? But why is this trending and like the music uh, tab in the Philippines right now. Is it me or does the melody sound like the melody of a popular Japanese anime intro, you know? Soundtrack. Oh, it's a birthday party! First birthday! I think it's a birthday party! I think it's Jane's first birthday, one year old. Well, happy birthday to you! <laughs> she keeps looking at the, uh, the computer. I think that's where she can lead, uh, read the lyrics. What is <laughs> wow, I did not expect this whatsoever, which just shows you how unpredictable people can be with their preferences and tastes in music, but also how unpredictable YouTube and its algorithm can be. Like, what in the world is this doing amongst, like, like amongst popular music videos? You know, it's, it's a little strange, to be honest. Okay, let's move on to uh, number four. Okay, so I think we're going to Korea again. And it's a song called Déjà Vu, okay, which is a French term. And if you want to pronounce it right, it's Déjà Vu, okay. Uh, by TXT. Since some things are precious but invisible to the eye, is that a, we forget them as life passes by. Is he in like a dream world with strange fake horses or ponies or unicorns? See, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is this sounds very digital with the leads and everything, right? And when we reacted to Baby Monster, I think I mentioned how it did not sound digital at all, you know, but this one is like super mm, electronic. <laughs> Korean boys, man, they are so tiny. Seriously. They're so small. And thin. Honestly, this could have been uh, a song by Ariana Grande. Don't you agree with me? Like, it just, to me, it sounds like an American song 
with Korean lyrics and and yeah, Korean with Korean singing on top of American music. That's that. That's how it sounds to me. Like right now, I could hear Ariana Grande sing on top of this beat. Like easy. Oh, it's the break, it's the break. Oh, oh. See, I don't I don't follow K-pop. I don't listen to K-pop. The only time I do is when I go to a Korean barbecue place and they have the music, the the screens with the music videos and everything, and I enjoy it, you know? But right now I'm like just discovering it and I'm enjoying it, to be honest with you guys. I wish, you know, it was only in English so that I could understand everything. But still, I like the mix of uh, Korean and English, and this break is fire. And their music videos are always awesome. See, the, the chorus is catchy, man, with the say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, say it louder. <laughs> oh boy. And I cannot distinct, distinguish them apart, man. Tomorrow, together. Top-notch audiovisual quality, as usual. I understand why it's number four trending in the, in the Philippines. Okay, let's move on to trending number three. All right, I think we are still in Korea because it's the exact same channel, but this time around it's uh, either a group or one artist called Illit, I-L-L-I-T, and the name of the song is called Magnetic. All right, let's check it out. See, again, it's the exact same thing that I said about TXT, uh, applies here for Elit. Like, seriously. Like, I could hear, again, Ariana Grande on top of this beat. Man, it's a... They are like a pop hit making machine over there in Korea. Oof. But they do things really well. Hey! That girl looks kind of like Lisa Soberano. Oh, it's a group, okay. Did she just sneeze? <laughs> okay, I need to know what kind of audience enjoys this and watches this. Seriously. Because to me, it, it feels very... It feels like it's for children, you know, the way they move and they dance and they... Or for people that watch TikTok videos. I don't know. It's very cute. Very... What is it? Kawaii or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm discovering stuff. See what I mean? With the very high-pitched voices, almost sound like a chipmunk. Yeah, this is not this is not for me. This is not for me. I feel like I'm watching uh, teenager teenage girls. Like, they're doing some cute stuff, even the, the sound of the instrumentals, the sounds, you know, the beep, 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 the signs and everything, they're very cute melodies, cute sounds and everything. Nah, I'm a 36-year-old man, okay? Uh, it's weird, it's, it's just strange to me. I like to, first of all, the women that I'm attracted to are women, and they have, you know, they have curves. These women, these, I don't know if they're women, man, I have no idea if they're girls or women, but they have no, no curves, nothing. <laughs> I mean, they're cute, but... Oh, I can tell where the inspiration came from. A popular American song that was like super popular like four years ago and they would play it all the time at uh, NBA games. But I forgot the name. I even have that song in my phone. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> and they always make them look like dolls. Oh, maybe they have the, the things are getting serious. Nope. <laughs> Oh, 
They went back to sleep after being all magnetic and energized. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I think it's super cute, okay? Like, uh, you know, if you like this, it's great. It's great, and it's really well done. Again, it's the same label, so they do things really well. And, you know, they are <clears throat> making a lot of money uh, from all of this. Uh, it's just not my, my thing. It's just not my thing. But, yeah, I would love to know what... Like, how old are you? Like, the people that enjoy this type of, of music and music videos and groups, K-pop groups, how old are you? You know, I'm just curious. Seriously, I'm just curious. All right, let's move on to song number two. Let's go. We are moving back to the Philippines with Flow G. Again, trending number two with Have Abby. And the song is called Burgis. I don't know what that means. But we're gonna check it out together right now and i hope that you guys are having a good time with me if you are don't hesitate to let me know in the comments that you enjoy uh these type of videos okay so that i can make more maybe not a top 10 but perhaps top five oof it sounds smooth bruh Whew, it's so freaking smooth. I knew it was gonna be smooth just by the keyboard play in the intro, you know? Oh, oh. Okay. I am not familiar with Have Abby, but I like him. And this song is kind of similar to the Al James song that uh, was number 10, you know? When it comes to the mood, even the music video with the ladies. It's just the setting is different. In the other one, they were like uh, swimming by the pool, like, you know, uh, pouring champagne and, and alcohol on the women. But here it's, it feels more classy. Just so you know, the um, this like slow-mo choppy effect is not coming from me. It's coming from the actual music video. And I don't like that effect. Woo, that bass, man. <laughs> he really thinks he's suave. Did you see how he looked at the camera and did like the lip thing? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. To me, he looks nerdy. Flow I heard camera, camera. He means the camera, right? He said camera, hon. Camera, hon? Honey? Maybe? I don't know. Of course, Flow G. As smooth as ever, you know, always the same rapper, raps fast, raps uh, on point with the beat, you know, at all times. He is the best, man. Louis Vuitton. Dior, whatever you want. Yo, that girl looks like an American, uh, Asian American actress that I saw in many TV shows and movies. Smooth. The song is smooth, man. And the music video is nice, too. So it's just that it's always funny to me to watch like some music videos where the guys think they're like super hot or super attractive or whatever. But in reality, I don't know. Like, do you guys think that Flow G and Have B are physically attractive? You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the fact that they're rich makes, makes them attractive to some people. I mean, they're very talented, you know, artistically speaking. But do you think they are like super attractive? Because in their music videos, they're always feeling themselves like they are the like supermodels or something, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I have to admit, this song is extremely smooth. I'm gonna have to re-listen to Burgis and re-listen to the other song with uh, Al James and see which one I prefer because I feel like they're very similar. And now, we're gonna move on to the number one trending song on YouTube, Philippines. Well, guess what? Baby Monster have two tracks in the top 10. They are number one with their song slash MV called Sheesh. So we're gonna check it out together right now. Let's go. 
I can already tell that this is going to be better than the other song of uh, Baby Monster that we listened to, which was called, I think, I Like That or Like That. Yeah, this one is more interesting just from the melody and the note of the piano. You know, it's already more creative and original. And this one also, we got the music video that goes with it. Nasty, nasty, nasty. That drop was fire. Even the transition was so freaking clean. Wow, that was awesome. Seriously, loved it, loved it. I understand, I understand. Like I don't even have to finish the, the song and the music video to understand why it's number one. See, these girls, baby monster girls, look older than, what, what were they called, elite or something like that? You know, these look actually like women. Man, they're rappers, man. Tupac, rest in peace. I'm sorry, but the name of the song is perfect because when the uh, drop uh, drops, you know, and the chorus starts, that's the word that comes out of you, you know, sheesh, because it's, the, it's hard, man, it goes hard. You know the name baby monster and now i'm guessing there's gonna be another massive drop yo come on okay i like it but i did not expect it to be this way like the rhythm to be slower you know it's nice it's really nice but i was expecting something even more I don't know, something that hits even harder than the original chorus of the song. But they decided to slow it down. It still sounds great, you know, but it's just not as impactful. Yo, that was good. That was awesome. This is a pretty nice top 10, to be honest. We got a little bit of pop music, we got a little bit of K-pop, well, a lot of K-pop. We got uh, some Filipino music that, you know, it was, it was like chill R&B with a little bit of hip-hop. We even got like a, a kid's performance. I don't know what that video was doing in there, but we got a little bit of everything. So we just needed, well, I don't know, maybe, it was missing a little bit of maybe alternative music, slightly, you know. We got some hardcore hip hop with Flo G, you know, that contact info um, song. This was fun, this was fun. Should I do this again? I don't think I'll be doing another top 10 because top 10 is a lot. Like I've been recording for over an hour. Can you imagine? It's basically me sitting here listening to an album because albums nowadays, uh, you know, like contain like 10 songs, 11, 12. So maybe I'll do a top five if this video does well and you guys enjoy it, you know. There you have it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this top 10. Are you a fan of any of these uh, artists? Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.